excretory system is crucial for maintaining the body's internal environment by eliminating waste products and regulating fluid balance. The human excretory system comprises of the following structures. Kidneys. These two bean-shaped organs sit in the middle of your back, just under your rib cage. These are the main organs of the excretory system and they help in filtering blood and producing urine. Nephron. The nephron is the functional unit of the kidney responsible for filtering blood and producing urine. It consists of several distinct structures each with specific functions. Here's an overview of the structure and function of the nephron. So first important structure is renal capsule is the initial site of blood filtration. It consists of the glomerulus, a network of capillaries and Bowman's capsule, a double walled cup shaped structure surrounding the glomerulus. Underline. Blood enters the glomerulus through the efferent arteriole and leaves via the efferent arteriole. Next comes proximal convoluted tubule also called PCT. After filtration in the renal capsule, the filtrate enters the proximal convoluted tubule. The PCT is lined with microvilli increasing its surface area for reabsorption of water, ions, glucose and other essential substances back into the bloodstream. And the next is loop of Henle. The loop of Henle consists of a descending limb, a thin segment and an ascending limb. It plays a crucial role in establishing the concentration gradient within the kidney, which is essential for concentrating urine. The descending limb is permeable to water but not for ions, allowing water to passively diffuse out of the tubule. In contrast, the ascending limb is impermeable to water but actively transport ions such as sodium and chloride out of the tubule. Distal convoluted tubule aka DCT. The DCT is responsible for further reabsorption and secretion. It regulates the concentration of ions such as sodium, potassium and calcium and the pH of urine through selective reabsorption and secretion. Collecting duct. The collecting duct receives urine from multiple nephrons and carries it towards the renal pelvis. The permeability of the collecting duct to water is regulated by antidiuretic hormone that is ADH which controls the water reabsorption thus influencing urine concentration. Now let's see the function of nephrons. Filtration. Blood enters the glomerulus under high pressure causing water, ions and small molecules to be filtered into Bowman's capsule forming the initial filtrate. Reabsorption. In this process, essential substances like glucose, amino acids, ions and most of the water are reabsorbed from the filtrate into the bloodstream along the PCT and the loop of Henle. This process helps maintain the body's balance of electrolytes and water. Secretion Some substances such as hydrogen ions, potassium ions and drugs are actively secreted from the bloodstream into the tubular fluid to maintain proper pH balance and eliminate potentially harmful compounds from the body. Concentration of urine. The nephron, especially the loop of Henle, plays a crucial role in concentrating urine by establishing a concentration gradient in the kidney medulla. This allows the collecting duct to reabsorb water selectively, producing concentrated urine when the body needs to conserve water. So, overall the nephron is complex structure with specialized segments that work together to filter blood, reabsorb essential substances and regulate the composition and volume of urine, contributing to overall homeostasis within the body. After kidney, the important structure is ureter. So, we have a pair of ureters. They are tubes that carry urine from the pelvis of the kidney to the urinary bladder. There are two ureters, each connecting one kidney to the bladder. And next structure is bladder. So, the bladder is a muscular sac located in the pelvis that stores urine until it's excreted from the body. Urethra. This is the tube that carries urine from the bladder to the outside of the body during urination. The excretory system is a vital biological system that removes excess waste products from the body. Also helps in filtration, reabsorption, secretion, concentration of urine and apart from the above mentioned functions. It also helps in regulation of blood pressure. The kidneys play a vital role in regulating blood pressure by controlling the volume of blood and the concentration of electrolytes in the bloodstream. Detoxification. The kidneys also help eliminate various toxins and for
foreign substances from the body contributing to overall detoxification so the excretory system plays a crucial role in maintaining homeostasis within the body by eliminating waste products regulating fluid balance and controlling various physiological parameters